Okay, Mike, after a rivalry win over Western Carolina, first let's start off by holiday weekend. Yeah. Huge crowd at Kimmel Arena. Just it was awesome. a great crowd. Yeah, man, sorry. It, it was a great crowd, and there was an atmosphere in here that, uh, you know, that that rivalry deserves. We, we've been over there the last two times, and they've had a great crowd and a great atmosphere. So it was good to get that back in, in Kimmel today. That ri Again, the rivalry deserves it. Um, it's always a, you know, it, it wasn't an 11-point game or whatever it was. It was way closer than that. So it's always a hard-fought game. Uh, it was a great win for us. It's good to get it two years in a row. I think we had only won, um, beat them six out of the last 20. So it's good to get two in a row. And, and um, you know, just a lot of fun to be able to, to say we won that game for another year. So you guys were led today by Drew Pember with 28 points and then Doc Battle. Yeah. Tied a career high with 19 points. Talk about those two guys. Yeah, I thought Doc was a player in the game. I just thought he made play after play after play down the stretch. We asked him to do a ton, you know, keep the ball alive, rebound the ball, guard the best player, uh, make free throws. And he just is, a, you know, he's an awesome kid to coach. And, and he just keeps growing. He's playing the best ball of his career. Uh, and he's just focused on winning. And so really proud of him. And, and obviously Drew had a great game. Uh, we did a good job getting to the free throw line late. So, um, yeah, man, just a really good win. Those two were terrific. So it seemed like your team started off a little bit slow offensively, but found another gear in the second half. What were those adjustments that? Well, they, 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 they guard you in a very unique way. They basically take the three out of the game. And if you're going to get threes, it's got to be in transition. When they set their defense, they weren't, they weren't helping at all off of, of Fletch and Tay and, and Drew to, to some degree as well. Um, but uh, so we just kind of had to turn it into a ball screen game and um, we didn't get out in transition as much as, as uh, we probably would have liked looking back. But um, yeah, I mean, just we got the ball inside, you know, to Drew and then we there just some couple huge, huge plays down the stretch where Tate kept the ball alive, led to an and one for Doc. And those are just winning plays. You don't really draw those up. Those aren't adjustments. Those are just winning plays. So after the brief pit stop here at home, you guys are back out on the road yeah. Tuesday at North Carolina Central. Where are the keys for us to get another win? Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about them right now. We'll dive into them here soon. But, uh, you know, it was good to be back home, you know, out of our first six, you know, two. And then we got two in a row after that. So, um, but we'll, we'll worry about North Carolina Central tomorrow and, um, you know, going on the road and having to try to find a way to get one. So. Um, just really appreciative of this crowd, man. Really appreciative of everybody who came out. Students are not even on campus, and um, just really proud of those of, of um, our players. But a lot of that had to do with the people who came out and supported us today. So, Doc, fresh off a big time rivalry win over Western Carolina. Yes, sir. Holiday crowd. Um, overall thoughts on today. Uh, man, the team, the team fought hard. We had a we had a tough outing last weekend. Went one and two. Everybody could say we went three and zero, oh, but uh, we could have did a lot of things. Like it's how we respond. Like coaches always emphasize respond. Like if we would have went one and two and took the mentality like feel sorry for ourselves. We wouldn't have won this game today. I mean, a credit to Western Carolina. They came out and fought hard. But I feel like we were we were real prepared. Coach Morrell, Coach Dixon, Coach Woody, Jetty, Darren, Robbie, our managers, everybody, they all prepared as well for this game. So I appreciate them. So I'm not sure if you know this, but you matched a career high today with 19 points on 7 and 10 shooting from the field. What was really working for you today? Uh, really, man, uh, like I said, it, it's, it's kind of cliche to credit my teammates, but that's all I can do, man. Like, obviously, I got a couple drives to the rim that got me going, but my teammates created for me. They created job lanes. Drew's making shots, so it's opened me up. Tay's shooting the ball, opened me up. Fletch doing everything that Fletch does. Nick, everybody on the team contributed to me having a great night. I mean, me personally, I could sit here and talk about how I did this and that, but at the same time, it was a team effort at the end of the day. All right, you guys go back out on the road after a brief pit stop here at home. What's the key in your mind to get second win in a row? I uh, don't think about this one at all. Like, well, not at all. Obviously, you have to like, you gotta. We just won, but at the same time, it's like if we think too much in the past, it'll mess up the future. You know, so we gotta instead of looking back at this game as a positive, we gotta look at the plays not negative. Well, we gotta look at where we can grow from this win and get even better to play central and then so far and so on and so on. All right, thanks, Doc. Yes, sir.